All right, uh, I'm making lots of videos today just to get them out there and get them done. Here are our bananas. Um, so obviously bananas don't sit side by side like that, right? They kind of angle towards each other and their stems, sometimes their stems are connected, uh, which we're not gonna actually do, but I can kind of nestle them together pretty close. So at least kind of looks a little more natural like like they are attached I mean if I wanted to the other thing is we have them identical right so as we did before I could use my T key to um, T key to kind of make some adjustments on these bananas so that at least one looks different than the other maybe and um, I can take all this Y key and kind of just okay the map tracks with it right because we're not changing the UV map we're just changing the shape of the banana so anyway so you get the idea you can make those adjustments all right kind of make your bananas so they both look a little bit different um, so those are bananas uh, so what we need now is um, a fruit bowl to kind of put our bananas in and uh, so I'm going to turn off my bananas. And I'm going to go to item mesh, add a new mesh, basic, and we are going to use a cylinder again. I'm going to drag this out. I do not. I would like eight sides. I think that's a um, nice number, eight sides, and I only need maybe like two segments and we've kind of made a bowl together before so this shouldn't be too hard and it really depends on what you want it to look like right uh, if it's just something simple then then it could just stay round I beveled in once this is our rim shift click bevel down I'm gonna match that one and then shift click down again okay now I'm gonna drop the tool I want to remind you if I hit tab key it's essentially a bowl, but it's really round the bottom and the top, right? If I grab this guy, grab that guy, bevel, and now I have kind of, I put a little more information in there. So is that a fruit bowl? Sure. If that's, if you're done, you're like, Mr. Eddie, I hate moto, and I really just want to be done with this project. There, you have a cylindrical bowl, and you're done. If you're like, Mr. Eddie, this is kind of fun, I like this then the next thing to do would be to play with the rim, right? I can take my R key, this green dot here. If I grab the blue dot, remember that is that is scaling all dimensions at once. So it's gonna go up and out and in and everything all at once. That's fine. If I want it just out in one direction, then green key, okay? Um, so either, either one in this case is kind of working. So I'm gonna just kind of flare that out a little bit, more like a, fruit bowl and um, you know like I said you could this could become oval R key and I could just kind of squish that in a little bit and maybe stretch it so maybe now it's a little bit more kind of like an oval platter that's a little bit more interesting uh, I can if I double click this hit B for bevel okay all right let's just kind of make that a little bit bigger and then I'm gonna take these two hit my L key for loop all right now I selected those loops all right so I got that looped all the way around B for bevel and I'm gonna just kinda drag in and then shift click and kinda go out and I can give this and then I'm gonna shift well that's kinda going a little and then shift click and then just kinda Anyway, I can give it like a little little detail, right? A little like if, if I was making a little ceramic pot or something, and this little dish has this little like, um, little, you know, just some sort of little detail going on. Um, anyway, you get the idea. I could do that maybe to the bottom, loop, bevel, and kind of kind of drag that in. Shift click and then out a little bit you could go in if you go in you have to be careful though because you might start going inside your your pot there that was that was too many loops 
loops. There you go. Taking those loops, Y key. Gonna drag those down. Y key. So, here, let's just move this out. Give ourselves some more room. Uh, and then, so it's just tweaks, right? I'm just designing a bowl here. Um, shift up arrow, R key, and just kind of bring that in. Yeah, that's, that's kind of looking you know not too bad it looks a little bit different uh, might be nice as a ceramic bowl or maybe metal remember you're gonna put a shader on it and design might look cool in glass all right but that is essentially going to be our bowl and then what happens is we uh, turn on our parts and we are going to load this fruit bowl with our fruit all right uh, you'll do that. I think probably um, if you use if you hit number five, you'll be in item mode. You can grab that uh, Y key, kind of adjust that, move it around. Okay, maybe the you know. So you just have to decide where where are things going. Uh, the apple maybe is stays outside the fruit bowl. He has escaped the fruit bowl. So I'm in an item mode and notice that it's not lined up. I can go to edit, center to bounding box and center that there. Uh, it's because we moved it off of center. So maybe this guy lives outside the fruit bowl. Um, something like that. The fruit bowl is a little bit small. I'm going to go back to my fruit bowl and name this bowl. And I'm on R key. I'm going to just kind of scale it up a little bit because a fruit bowl should be able to hold a bunch of fruit. Uh, also, I want to make sure it's on the ground plane. There it is. And then I'll keep uh, moving stuff around. So if I'm popping through, then that's not good, right? I mean, that. The bananas are a little bit big, so I'm scaling those down. You just those are the adjustments that you get to make. You know what I mean? You just have to kind of look around and say, how do I want these things to to work here? Um, and you just kind of make some ad adjustments, right? So I'm looking at the interior of the bowl and where do the bananas sit. They're still too low. I got to raise them up. They should they shouldn't be intersecting in the bowl at all. Especially if you're making a black, I mean a glass bowl. If you're making a glass bowl, then it's really important where you put your objects. Uh, if it's a solid bowl and there's some intersection, you'll be okay. Um, anyway, I'm gonna duplicate this pair. It's best. I mean, if it were really, if I really go into town on it, I would just make a whole. You know, I would adjust that pair and and mess around with it, right? But um, for our purposes, this will be just fine. Uh, anyway, so you begin to see that we're making a little scene, right? So let's go to our render tab. There we go. Hey, there's a problem right there with the apple. I didn't even notice it. He's sticking out the side of the... There we go. So let's move him out. Or her. Or maybe my pair doesn't have it. My apple doesn't have a gender. I'm not sure. I didn't ask. It's appropriate pronouns um, all right you get the idea so then you set up your scene this guy he needs a shader um, I usually like to double click and set my material M for material uh, set my make sure I set my bowl uh, my polygons to the right place it just helps keep things pretty clean here's my bowl here's my material I have a lot of pre uh, there's a lot of presets right I can go to my material presets where are you presets oh assets we got material what where's bit don't I have some materials uh, items images ah materials okay um, that's, that's too big too small 
Uh, I am going to make this a metal bowl because I want some fun. Um, I want some reflection and stuff going on. And I think a copper bowl. Copper. And I don't know. Um, I don't know. Let's just use burnished copper. I'm going to drag it. Make sure you go in the bowl. If it's not in the bowl, it's going to affect everything, and you don't want that. Uh, I'm going to turn down some of the uh, specular is pretty high. So I'm going to turn that down to like 80. Dulls it out a little bit and turn up my roughness a little. That will make it a little bit more matte. And uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. All right. Uh, next video is going to be on ground planes and lighting and rendering and done with Modo.